Yo, what is going on guys and welcome back to another episode of the Road to 9000 Trophies. Now, before we get into this video, I have just played three games before I, I started filming this, aside from them 2v2s. Um, so yeah, we did get three wins back to back to back, which is 27, 31, 31, which is what, like 89 trophies all in. So yeah, we are up 90 trophies, give or take, from last episode. And we're hoping that we can get three wins today, that'll take us over that 8400 mark. And we'll be into our final 600 trophies until we hit that... 9,000 trophy goal that we have right now. But without further ado, let's have straight into game number one here. Princess on the left, so we're gonna play the high um, firecracker into it, along with the hog rider to support. And he is gonna get king tower activation out of that, which isn't great. Hey, so we are playing against log bait here now. Whenever we play log bait, it's kind of awkward. You do need to make sure you're being proactive with the princesses. Princess can do so much damage if left unchecked. So it is a bit awkward, especially in this version we have right now with the Tesla instead of the bomb tower. It just leaves it open for, kind of, we can't place the building down and just let it go. We have to actually, like, place the Tesla at the bridge. We do manage to catch it that time, which is very, very nice for us. So we will go for the Princess or the Firecracker again over here. If we can get round to our Hog, that'd be real nice. We don't quite make it to the hog. Hopefully we can just get a shot off with the firecracker. Which we do. Nice. A level 15 firecracker packs a punch. Don't know why I went for the ice spirit there. I forget sometimes that he this guy is level 15. We have the level 14 ice spirit. I really should upgrade that to level 15 for my next one. I think I'm only like 5,000 off right now. It definitely would be a good option. But it's just such a boring one, isn't it? I just don't want to spend 50,000 um, uh, wild cards for... Elite wild cards for an ice spirit. I'm sure a lot of you can understand the the struggle of this, but yeah, um, we have we can go for the earthquake on that, and I think we may be able to take that out. No, not with the ice spirit there. Yeah, take it out, but don't quite get the hit off. We're gonna go for the ice spirit here just in case he decides to go for his princess, which he doesn't do. So now we can wait, and then if he puts down princess, we just mighty no, we can't mighty minor it. We do have to watch out for that evil knight he's gonna have in his next hand. So we'll just go for the Tesla up high. We'll get two hits, I think. No, just the one, which is quite nice. Uh, we can't really go for it. We need, obviously, this is why we're saving the Mighty Miner. <laughs> and, uh, yeah. So let's go in for our goblins here to steal from the Ice Spirit. Because that Mighty Miner would very easily stay alive if left unchecked. We're going to go Ice Spirit here. Nice. Then we can go for the Earthquake with Hog. Or Hog with Earthquake, I guess you could say. And that should do some damage, hopefully. No, it won't. Not with the King Tower active. Okay, we're going to go for the low Mighty Miner here. Bit bad for us. Placed on the wrong side, which isn't great. <laughs> we're going to go for the Evil Firecracker. And then behind the... Oh, he goes in for his... If we didn't play our, our Hogdar, we'd be in a really good position here. But we're going to get a shot off on the tower with the Evil Firecracker, which is very nice. Can we get another one? Oh, we get two shots off, so we get a lot of damage in there. Let's go for the Tesla here. It doesn't quite lock onto the Princess. A little bit unfortunate. We're going to go for the Ice Spirit here to relock the Princess onto the Tesla. Tesla is going to get destroyed, so we're going to go for the Firecracker plus the Hog. Princess gets a lot of damage in, so we are in a bit of a sticky situation here. We're going to go for the Goblins up high to distract from them Goblins. Firecracker is going to stay standing. Might go in in front with the might doesn't quite make it in front. <laughs> we were a bit too slow with that one. And now he does have the evil coming at us with no counters really. Um, but if we go in for the ice spirit here. Kind of hoping that will take it out. Yeah, it does a good enough job. Okay, we can go for the goblins here in the middle. Excuse my phone going off. And we go Tesla. Close game boys. We are definitely not in a losing position just yet. This might put us in. Hmm, we technically do have a damage lead, but the technicalities don't win games. <laughs> Let's go for the Earthquake here. Now, if I, if I go for this move, is that Earthquake too far over? I think it might be. Yeah, it is. Nice. The Tesla was placed too far, or the Inferno was placed too far. We need to get the Goblins down here. Okay, now we can go for the Firecracker here in the center. We need to get this tower down. No, we do lose game number one. Unfortunately, just due to that level difference. If I had been, if he had been level fourteen, we win that. But you know, it is what it is. 
Okay boys, and we are back after that loss in game number one. Hopefully here to redeem ourselves and win this one. It was a bit of a bad match at first, but you know, we, we nearly pulled it through. We just kind of got done in by the levels a little bit, which is unfortunate. That's what the annoying thing about Trophy Road. Kind of one of the things that puts me off at the minute. I just feel like it's all potluck about who who wins really, just simply levels. But besides the point, beggars can't be choosers. I'm near enough to level 15, I'm one level off. So once we get, well, we need 100,000 XP for that level to be fair. But once we get that 100,000 XP, we're right there. Uh, yeah, that's probably going to be a grind. When you get two level 15s just to get that XP. But, you know, we shall do that eventually. <clears throat> Especially if we keep climbing and we get the rewards. That might be King activation, but we will have the good opportunity to go in here with the Hog. We're going to go Hog plus, plus Log as well. Just to try and kill the Goblins, because I think the Goblins is the only kind of response he's going to have for that. We'll go Hog Log now. Okay, he doesn't quite go for the goblins. We managed to catch one of them. <laughs> He's seen through the log, but we do get two hits off, which is nice. We can go Tesla here, plus the, the Ice Spirit. Can, oh, he gets a hit. That's unfortunate. <clears throat> we do have the level 15 hog here, which is very nice compared to his level 14. And the 15 firecracker. Um, yeah, he did play firecracker. But in that matchup, his firecracker can't one-shot mine, so mine can always get two hits off before his, so it is... It's just the annoyance of levels, isn't it? I, I Honestly, I think it ruins the game sometimes. But, you know, the game's a game and we have to play it. So, um, yeah, we can't really complain about it. I'm going to let that Ice Spirit go on the left. Honestly, I, I'll, I'll log that. I don't take all that. That's a bit too much to let go. Can I hope he goes in for his, his bomb tower here. Oh, we get a nice, that's some nice range there. Uh, let's go for the down low Tesla. We're going to go for the hog in front of the... Nope, not going to quite get in front. We'll go for the earthquake here anyway. And then we do have a pretty nice position here. We are down round to our fi evil firecracker. Uh, we are going to go for the Tesla up high as well. Just to make sure that, that doesn't get any damage. Wouldn't be nice to have to get a hit off in the tower. Puts him in front of us. I'm going to go for the mighty miner into this. Just to get round to our three card cycle and hopefully we can try and outcycle his uh what, what's it called <laughs> i'm i've lost my words his bond tower now he does catch our um for a firecracker which is a really nice play from him but we can keep ours alive here and he doesn't have his uh bot his earthquake anymore sorry i'm losing my words getting a little bit intense here you know <clears throat> sorry okay now we should take that out pretty easily and then we can go for the firecracker plus hog here. I don't have enough elixir for the hog. I went for the firecracker a bit prematurely. Firecracker gets shot off? No, it doesn't quite make it. Do we need to log? Oh, we should have went Tesla. We should have went Tesla. We should have went Tesla. That was such a bad play from my behalf. Okay, we, we connect on the tower somehow. Oh, that that's... <laughs> that, feels, that feels dodgy. I'm not sure about that one, Chief. Okay, nice. So we can go for the Mighty Miner in front to keep the Firecracker alive. We have the Tesla at the ready. He does go in for the Earthquake, which is pretty bad Earthquake, to be honest. Then we can go in for our Firecracker here, plus the Earthquake. No, we're going to go Tesla instead. Okay, nice. Hopefully we can get a shot off on Tower. We don't quite, but we do get some nice damage in. He doesn't have his building in cycle yet. And we just go in for our Hog, and hopefully that's a win. He might be back around to it now. It's not going to matter. We just need to cycle around to our Earthquake, and I think that's Earthquake range. Either way, we can just cycle around back to our log if it's not Earthquake range, but I'm pretty sure it is. Not quite there, but we can just win with this one. And GG, so our second opponent. Let's hop straight into game number three. And yes, boys, we are back for game number three. Ironically, on the exact same trophies that we started on. So we just got the same amount for the Will Awesome win. Which isn't too bad. Now, we did play a pretty good game that second game. We got a bit fortunate with our hog slipping through on that one play, if you guys remember it. We're going to take King Tower activation here with this E Spirit. Nice. Then we're going to wait for that Firecracker to lock. Okay, no, we're not. Abort that plan. We're going to try and take out this hog. Still going to get a hit off. Somehow. Uh, we're going to go Ice Spirit here. Just to take out that Firecracker. And we're just going to have to let that go. We might take the death damage here if I can get it. Which we can. Nice. That's a free 400. 
444 damage, I think that what that is, yeah. Just for one elixir, which is always going to be worthwhile. We will go for the earthquake here on top of his bomb tower. Nice, then we're going to go for the firecracker in case he decides the goblins. He does go in for the firecracker himself. Really bad firecracker from him. Uh, it's, not, it's never really worth firecrackering a hog whenever it's running because it just runs past and it does nothing. So it is kind of always a one you want to look out for. It would have been more worthwhile to go for goblins, but then I did place... I did place my own firecracker, so maybe maybe he had that in mind, or maybe he just didn't have goblins in hand, and I'm just judging him for no reason. Okay, we both decide to go for the Mighty Miners in the back. Both kind of... We're playing the same deck here. I think this is a mere matchup, except I do have Tesla. He has Bomb Tower, so we're about to see which one is the best one. And he's E-Spirit as well. <laughs> okay, let's go in for the goblins here. Now we're going to go for the Log plus Earthquake. Just to make sure we're getting down that evil firecracker before it causes too much damage. I'm going to play my firecracker here just so we can cycle around. I don't really... Might have been a bit of a bad play because I don't want to take this King Tower activation here. It's like the one advantage we have over him right now. Is the fact that we have a King Tower. He doesn't go for the King Tower activation for some reason. Not too sure why. If he just placed that bomb tower a little deeper it would have. But we do get the hit off. He does get it there with that play. But our um, firecracker is going to stay alive here for quite a while. So we do have a pretty nice position here. We're going to go in for the log on top just to make sure all that survives. And then we go in for our Mighty Miner in front. His, without, not before his Firecracker, does get a shot off on the tower, which is a bit unfortunate. We can go for the Earthquake here. That should melt that down pretty easily. Hog's still really high health. Don't quite get a shot off with the Firecracker on the tower, but it's going to do enough. It takes out his Firecracker as well, which is very nice value for us. We go Firecracker here. And let's go Hog and Fontress for support. He does out of his he's out of his earthquake now, so I can't see him going in for his own hog. Okay. He has the evil firecracker down, so we're gonna play the early Tesla here. Then we're gonna wait, we're gonna go for the Ice Spirit. Ooh, that's not good, that's not good, that's not good. We've just given him a hit on the tower with the Evo. Really, really bad. We're gonna go for the log here before he, he dodges the log! Okay, we're gonna go Ice Spirit. Okay, okay. Reset, reset. He dodged the log, which was not ideal. I did not see that coming. Okay, we're gonna go for the Mighty Miner up high. Nice. Then we can go, we, we'll just go log. We don't wanna mess around here. We don't wanna take any unnecessary damage. We are gonna go in for the Hog Rider here as well. And we're gonna put down the Earthquake. We might be in danger here, to be honest. We go for this, we go for the Ice Spirit. Go for the the log, can that take that down? Not quite. Oh, we're about to get level diffed again, boys. <laughs> okay, what can we do here? What's the play we make? We go for the High Mighty Miner. And then we wait for that to lock on, we go Firecracker here. Go for the Earthquake. Okay, cool. Now we go for another hog. Go for the Tesla. Go for another earthquake. Do we win this? We do pull out the win, boys. Really nice game. If we're close enough, I might play one more, trying to get the 8400, but we'll see. 8363. So what is that? I need 27. 37, yeah, we're not, we'll have to play another two games, so we're going to make you wait till next episode to see whether we can make that 8400 mark or not. But yeah, boys, we do end 8363, as I just said. This is the deck that we did run today. You all know this deck. I played this deck hundreds of times before. And yeah, boys, if you did enjoy today's episode and you do want to follow the journey even further, do be sure to hit like, hit subscribe. I appreciate every single one of you, and I'll see you all in the next one. Peace out.